a joke. This is the best ever. A joke of the children. You don't really know much about Halloween. You thought no further than the strange custom of having your children wear masks and go out begging for candy. The festival of Samhain. The last great one took place 3,000 years ago when the hills ran red with the blood of animals and children. Now you're a crisis. A part of our world. Our craft. Witchcraft. To us, it was a way of controlling our environment. This is the Uprising Revival Channel. Welcome to... Old Channel? But no further than the strange custom of having your children wear masks and go out begging for candy. The festival of Samhain. The last great one took place 3,000 years ago when the hills ran red with the blood of animals and children. Now you're a crisis. A part of our world. Our craft. Witchcraft. To us, it was a way of controlling our environment. This is the Uprising Revival Channel. Welcome to today's show. I wanted to cover Halloween. I know a lot of you have asked me to cover it, to talk about the origins of it, the satanic origins, obviously, of it, involving the traditions with trick-or-treating and all of the things that we know are traditions in America, which are all satanic, but everybody has been brainwashed into doing and accepting. Obviously, Halloween and All Hallows Eve are the days that these Satanists perform blood rituals, human sacrifice, animal sacrifice, all of these disgusting things that I talk about on this channel that they do. The holiday itself is known as Sawween, but it looks like it says Sam Hay. But it's Sawween. I'm going to say it just like that. Sawween. Okay? It's a three-day fire festival which sacrifices were given to fires for the sun god, which is a common theme that you will see amongst all of these Satanists. Sun worship. Sun worship over and over. Samhain, or Halloween, All Hallows Eve, is a festival for the dead. Now, I exposed the Beltane on this channel months ago. The Beltane is the festival for the living. is when the veil is at its second thinnest. That's what they believe. And Halloween is when the veil is at its thinnest. So these dates are significant to them because when they perform their rituals, their bloodletting rituals, blood sacrifice, I shouldn't say, excuse me, rituals, and they commit these heinous acts by sacrificing humans, sacrificing animals to Satan, the veil is thin so they can invoke more demons. And they believe that they're you know, the, the wishes that they have, I have a better chance of being granted because of how thin the veil is and they can communicate better with the dead. So there's a slew of traditions that occur during this period from October 29th to the 31st. I talked about October 13th being the first day that this all really starts. This is the preparation period from the 13th to the 31st. Obviously, there's significance behind the number 13, and also 31 backwards is 13. We know how they operate with the law of reversals. So, Samhain is the Celtic Lord of the Dead, and it's considered a stag god. A stag god in the occult is always a reference to the ancient male god, Nimrod.